hiya hiya and a ho 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 <laughs> and to the bird Mary best bird's nest <laughs> we're gonna give her something I'm gonna give her something that she's always wanted another bird <laughs> they bond with people when the, when they don't have another bird see and if they got another bird then you could get going hey speaking of that I'm watching uh, television today and I, hey I sinned all right you know I watch do I have a loose sleeve here oh we don't want to have a a bad a bad look on TV uh, Morton Downey jr. my good friend you remember the loudmouth they called him but he was really uh, brilliant He's the only guy on TV to ever wear red socks. <laughs> well, I got him on, folks. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Mart. It's for you. <laughs> and Bill Boggs, who produced the show, I'm sure is very happy to see that. I wore them like leggings. That's the way I wear them. I'm in Florida. Would you? Could you tell I'm in Florida? <laughs> well, you know that I left the price tag on because I want to show off a little bit. If you're in Palm Beach, that's what you do. You wear... Ralph Lauren clothes, you know, because he's the guy that had the pony, you know, the Lauren. That's that's where they do the. Uh, they have a lot of ponies there because it's it's Ralph Lauren's whole image is horseback riding, you know, polo playing polo. That's what it is. Rich people do that. In my neighborhood, we kicked the can. Usually, it was mine that got kicked. I want to tell you something though. Uh, Lauren Michaels being celebrated on this is a this is a, an unbelievable thing. He's the most unfunny person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> he's got no humor. <laughs> and he's the head of the Saturday Night Live and put a lot of movies on TV, on, on, on the screen rather, with some of the stars. And Jimmy Fallon, I mean, he pulled him out of the, uh, out of the ranks and made him a national television host to replace Conan O'Brien. I think he was responsible for that one too. And you know, they all come from this guy who was Canadian. I, I mean, he used to listen to me when I was on WKBW in Buffalo. I, I thought I'd rubbed off on him, but I guess there's no humor in it. And I noticed that in, in his interviews, first of all, uh, CBS is presenting the Lincoln Center Awards, or the Kennedy Center Awards at Lincoln Center. And, and uh, Lauren Michaels being celebrated. Now, you know, they take a person and they, uh, the guy sits up in the balcony and watches everybody say how wonderful he is. And Gail King, who is on CBS, is uh, interviewing him. He's the NBC guy, competing networks. But she goes over there and does a whole thing about Saturday Night Live and Lauren Michael. He never smiles. And, you know, bad teeth, maybe. But, you know, she, she, she goes through the whole thing with him. Never, and he never used her name. Never said, hey, Gail, or thanks, Gail, or hey, Gail. He, I think he was saying, this is really nice to meet you, Oprah. You know, <laughs> Not, no sense of humor, with, uh, with, with no, no recognition of anybody else. He even did that with me, snubbed me at one time because I produced a thing with Lou Bedell in Los Angeles called, it was a takeoff on Howard Stern, and it was written by Ron Landry. Uh, Ron Landry did, I think it was Alice's Restaurant, the thing on Sunday nights, just years ago. Anyway, Ron put a studio audience together, uh, dressed me up as Howard Stern, and we did a thing called Howard Worm. Uh, so, so, you know, we brought it over to Lauren Michaels, thinking, well, it's funny. But in those days, I looked too handsome to be funny. <laughs> You have to be, you have to be a little bit off to be a comic. You know, you can't be a matinee idol. That doesn't doesn't work with comedy, unless you schmutz your face up a little bit. These days with cream cheese, if you can buy it. Uh, so you know, we have a different kind of a comedy sense now. And um, Lauren Michaels, who's being celebrated, is just did a thing last Saturday or two weeks ago on Saturday Night Live where they made fun of the nativity. I mean, where I, I mentioned this before on my on my Reynolds rep. I just don't understand how we take people down for certain things and then other things we ignore when they're making a lot of money for us. <laughs> if you're making a lot of money, you really uh, are very happy with the person who's doing the job. That's the way it is over at uh, the Peacock at NBC. Uh, there was a time when Bill Cosby was the most popular comic in the whole country, you know, and he had nothing to do with Saturday Night Live. Matter of fact, didn't want to be on that show, and he got mad that he used to, used to imitate him. But, you know, he was the biggest guy on NBC, and they, they were going to sell NBC, which they did. General Electric did sell NBC. He sold it to a cable company out of Philadelphia. That'll show you how big that move was. So, you know, Bill Cosby was going to buy NBC, and they were going to change the name of it to NBC, nothing but Cosby, and have 
nothing but him on there. And then Donald Trump had a railroad uh, properties on the railroad on the Hudson in Manhattan, and he was trying to convince NBC to build a whole new television city over there, and they didn't do it. So the cable company came in and they kept the 30 Rockefeller Center, which is Radio City, but nothing to do with radio anymore. They don't even have, I was on the radio there. They don't have radio anymore. NBC sold all the radio. They sold, I think they sold their FM too. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they did. But they don't have anything to do with television now. See, they're getting off of the, off of the TV, off of the network and trying to get us over to the Peacock because there's money in it. <laughs> See, you pay to watch Peacock. Well, they give, it, they give you a month free. It's like Disney Plus. They give you a month free. And Apple, they give you a month free. All these guys are just uh, scamsters. They get you to watch this thing uh, for about a month, and, they, and you sign up for it. And if you don't sign off at the end of the month that you have, uh, because you use your credit card, if you don't sign off, then they continue to bill you. It's a clever little game like phone companies. See, phone companies can't no longer sign long-term contracts with you. The only thing they could do is sell you the phone under a long period of time, and then you pay. I don't think there's any interest on the phone when you buy it. I'm not sure. But you know, this is all the ways that we have figured out to make money and to uh, keep the games going on radio and television. And really, there is no television. There's only the phone. The phone directs the traffic. I knew it years ago, and when I was in the window of NASDAQ in Times Square, without bragging here, uh, but I will. Uh, we were sitting there in that window, and I, Lauren Michaels, I went to him. You know, I mean, we should have had that, that show on, on uh, network television, on NBC network television. But they were busy with the poker show, a show about poker. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, listen, it's a business, you know. Show business, not anymore. Now it's the business of show. Hey, it's the reverse of it. <laughs> and, uh, so if you want to follow the trail, you know, they always say follow the money trail. And uh, don't wear red socks. <laughs> Unless you're from Boston. <laughs> and then don't wear them to a Yankees game. It's a uh, Reynolds wrap. <laughs>